just how similar are Natasha Romanoff and the Black Widow Spiders of which she's named? Welcome back to Shelby on Safari, and in today's video we are going to look at just that in preparation for the Black Widow movie that's finally coming out. I'm so excited. I'm a wild animal biologist who loves using pulp culture to see just how amazing the animals of our world really are. So in today's video, we're going to look at three things that they have in common. Do they really work alone? How they communicate? And of course, the widow's bite. So you ready? Join the safari and let's get started. A bit of backstory. Did you know there are actually 31 different species of widow spider found throughout the world? They're in the genus Lactrodectus, and they are found throughout the temperate regions of the world, like the United States, Southern Europe, Asia, and Africa. Females typically are a bit bigger than the males. They're about one and a half inches long, whereas males are typically half their size. And of course, the symbol that they share with Natasha Romanoff is that red hourglass shape that's actually found on the underside of their abdomen. Now, interestingly enough, there isn't just one Black Widow in the comics. Oh no, like there's different species of Black Widow spider, there are different people who take up the mantle of Black Widow. First was Clairvoyant, <laughs> what a funny pun there, who used Black Widow as her code name. She was introduced in Mystic Comics number four back in August 1940. But of course, the Black Widow that we know and love today is Natasha Romanoff, who first appeared in Tales of Suspense number 52 in April 1964. She is, of course, the one probably a lot of us are familiar with because she has played a predominant role in the Marvel Cinematic Universe and will be starring in the Black Widow movie that's coming out. And in that movie, we will meet another person who eventually took up the mantle of Black Widow in the comics, Yelena Belova. But now let's look at do Black Widows truly work alone? Well, it turns out Black Widows are solitary year round, except of course when it comes time to mating. And it turns out some mating rituals are gnarlier than others, whereas some females do have the tendency to eat the males after said mating ritual, which led to the name Black Widow. But it should be noted that this isn't all the time, it's not consistently the case. Now when it comes to Natasha Romanoff, in the MCU, we've often seen her a part of the team, like the Avengers. And yes, in the comics, she too has paired up with the Avengers, but hasn't quite really been an official member for various different reasons, but does often help them when the need arises. She's also worked with Matt Murdock, aka Daredevil, and of course, her buddy Hawkeye. But she does frequently make the choice to work alone, and go off and try to have a solo career, per se. But what about communication? How do the Black Widows communicate? Communication is key for both the spider and spy. Of course, our friends the Black Widow spiders have very beautiful webs, and they can pick up on vibrations on these webs to sense what's going on around them. They also leave pheromone scent trails on their silk as well to let other spiders know what's going on. This especially comes in handy during the mating rituals. Now with that hourglass marking on their abdomen, a study suggested that this could be another way of communicating, but rather with other spiders, it would be to communicate to potential predators that she is in fact toxic warning them to stay away, you don't want to eat me. However, this marking wouldn't in fact scare away potential prey, like grasshoppers, flies, and mosquitoes. Which leads me to thank the Black Widow spider because mosquitoes and I don't get along. So I'm ever so grateful to the Black Widow spider for eating my worst enemy. We've seen the Black Widow spider uses a variety of different methods to gather intel around them. And it turns out Natasha Romanoff does in fact do this as well. Natasha is quite adept at getting intel, both in the comics and the MCU. One of my favorite scenes is when she's being interrogated, or I guess she's interrogating them, sitting in the chair. You know, she gets the phone call. I thought that was hilarious and such a great scene for her character. Because Natasha is actually fluent, as we saw in that scene, in many different languages. 
languages. But it turns out Natasha is also an expert computer programmer and hacker. But every spy has a secret weapon, and the Black Widows are no different. Now is the time to look into the bite of the Black Widows. Now Natasha Romanoff's bite is in fact the Widow's Bite, a weapon that she uses from her wrist cartridges that emit an electrical blast that can have a maximum power of 30,000 volts. Whoo! Ouch. Now the Black Widow Spider's Bite is a little bit different. Their actual bite tends to be quite feared because their venom is reported to be about 15 times stronger than that of rattlesnakes. However, the Black Widow Spiders aren't really that aggressive. In fact, they're more likely to either run away, play dead, or flick silk strands when they're feeling threatened, rather than just go in for the bite. Because also, not all Black Widow spider bites deliver venom. Some use it as a warning shot, if you will, because it takes a lot of effort to produce it, and they'd rather save it for their next meal. So they may deliver a bite that is just a warning bite, really, with no venom in it. In 2013, the American Association of Poison Control Centers reported 1,866 Black Widow bites, but only 14 of those resulted in severe symptoms, and none resulted in death. So both the Black Widow of the comics and movies and the Black Widow spiders of our real world have amazing senses, crazy communication skills, tendency to work alone, and different forms of the Widow's Bite. So are you too looking forward to the Black Widow movie? While we wait for it, why not check out my other video on spiders? That answers the question, are spiders really blind? Go on, click on it right here. I'll see you over there. Thanks for watching.